deadlifting with the axle bar. I gotta go find my plates for a deficit. So an axle bar is a thick bar. So you can compare them right here. You can get your hand around the, this bar where this one you can't. Um, so that's gonna force you to really work your grip strength and your forearms. Um, the reason why I do it is so I never have to fail on grip when I'm deadlifting. Also, besides the grip, it's a thicker diameter which brings the uh, kind of the fulcrum of the weight out in front of you even if it's just by an inch. It's gonna help you work on focusing on sitting back and working that posterior chain a little bit more. So it's actually further away from you than a standard deadlift bar. I use an axle bar once a week and I deadlift regular once a week. Um, so I mix in the axle and deficits on Thursdays. So A, axle again, working your grip strength and it's away from me a little bit. And with the deficit, my weakness is coming off the floor so I'm also focusing on speed up the floor and strength up the floor. So Thursday is more of my accessory day for deadlifts, and then Mondays are my normal deadlift day where I'm hitting a lot of volume and heavier weights. If you were a beginner, it really just depends on where your weakness is. Let's say your weakness is in the grip, let's just have you do axle deadlifts, uh, axle bar deadlifts. If your weakness is off the floor, I'd recommend you just do deficits with a regular bar because it's I'm more advanced so I mix both in at the same time where you, if you're a beginner I'd rather have you do one or the other and not both so guys thanks for watching Jesse Norris here cage muscle athlete hopefully you enjoy these little tips and tricks for the deadlift uh, let us know if you have any questions comments or just even an opinion in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe